Morning in progress. Good evening. We're going to start our special service district meeting for four mile. Uh, we are going to go to item number two on the consent items, which is approval of the meeting minutes for April 12th, 2020. Oh, we've got 2022. It's got to be 24, October 11th. No, do we need to go back to do those? Yes. Excuse me. April 12, 2022, October 11th, 2022, and September 10th, 2024, as presented. You guys have a chance to look at those? Is there any clarifications or questions? I go back. I missed that. I noticed because I was like, I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes, meeting minutes. Or April 12, 2022, October 11, 2022, and September 10, 2024, as presented. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, that motion carries. Thank you. Item number three, which is our business items. This is a discussion possible action to adopt resolution 24 15, which is accepting a petition for annexation of certain road property into the Four Mile Special Service District. Turning the time over to Jenny Knight. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, good evening, board members. We are uh, looking at accepting this petition for annexation into the Four Mile Special Service District. This is the Oak Hollow subdivision, which is situated in between Larson Lane and 700 North. And the property owners have petitioned the city requesting annexation for secondary water services. We're happy to entertain any questions that you may have. Just in a review, they've had to do what to come to this point in time to ask for a petition? They've had to get their water rights basically put in order so that they can take care of their own secondary water through a, through a what, basin? Yes. So the part of the development will include a secondary water pond, <coughs> a pump house, and they will turn over their water shares to the, for the city or the Four Mile Special Service District, and we will be providing the secondary water, but the developer will be putting all the infrastructure in for that system. What system? Uh, is it land irrigation or? or uh, it's Western irrigation. Okay. And I know Lynn runs down 700 north. I believe they're all Western shares. That's what I thought. And they have all the shares they need already. They will need to come up with them if they don't. Yes, they yeah. will be gotcha. required to meet the Western irrigation standard, which is 10 shares per acre. One is to put in the pond and all the infrastructure in the pump. The other is to connect into the neighboring, I forget the name of the subdivision that already has one in it, and, and, and to run and, and utilize that pump. So we're looking at both options. If we can get the easements and all the rights to that and, and have what we need, then we'll, we'll connect into that. Sounds good. So we're just, I just want to make sure both were presented. And understood. Thank you. Does that bring up any questions for you? Either way, the shares are put in. Either way, the shares go to the district, yeah, right. or to the four mile. So which other subdivision? Warren Hollow. Oh, is the one there we go. Right. Yeah, I couldn't remember the name of it. Thank you. Okay. Good. All right. If no other questions, I'd like a motion, please. I'll make a motion that we adopt resolution 2415, accepting a petition for annexation of certain real property into the Four Mile Special Service District. Also do. All right, I have a motion and a second. I'm gonna need a roll call, please. Trustee Weiss? Yes. Trustee Jackson? Yes. Trustee Williamson? Yes. Trustee Fawcett? Yes. Trustee Christensen? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries. Uh, item number four, board staff follow-up. Is there anything just 
a reminder that we will be having a number of four-mile meetings prior to city council meetings for the next few months as we work through these two the petitions that we've received to meet their deadlines. So just a mental reminder that okay. we'll do those at 645. So just a clarification, this is the petition. This is the petition, correct. Next month we'll hold a public hearing on the petition and then we will wait the time frame that's required before we formally annex the property in.